In our previous videos, we talked a little bit more about hormones, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, but now we are going to dive a little bit more into the thyroid. So why are you tired? Why are you gaining weight? Why are you feeling mentally foggy? Could this be your thyroid? Now, you've been feeling exhausted for a while, gaining weight, and just feeling mentally foggy, but your doctor or your practitioner says that your labs are normal. Does this sound familiar? Well, in this video, I am going to walk you through why your thyroid might be the real culprit right and how you can get the answers that you have been missing uh, hi i'm dr bennett doctor of nursing practice and founder of visto wellness in san augustine florida i help a lot of my patients rediscover their energy their clarity and confidence through hormone and thyroid optimization so if your body just doesn't feel like it belongs to you anymore this video might be a turning point for you so Let's talk about some of the common symptoms of thyroid dysfunction. We're going to start by the signs that your thyroid might be underperforming. And these are symptoms like weight gain, especially around the midsection, despite, you know, proper diet and exercise. Fatigue. Fatigue is a really big one. You know, even after you get a full night's sleep, you're feeling tired throughout the day. Wouldn't it be nice if everyone can lay down during the day and take a nap? But nobody has time to do that brain fog just feeling you know forgetful having mood swings cold hands and feet hair thinning hair loss irregular periods low libido sometimes you know with people who suffer from depression you just start feeling like your depression medication doesn't work anymore and most often when that happens your practitioner or your your mental health practitioner wants to add more and more medicine you know to it it could just be because your thyroid is underperforming and if we can optimize the thyroid you can get on less and less medication wouldn't that be nice right so many women are told that these are just symptoms that are part of getting older but that's not the case these symptoms can be alleviated by just doing the proper labs and coming up with the proper you know treatment for your thyroid so most often when you get thyroid testing done what is the problem we have with the common test that's done in primary care so here's the issue most of the time most practitioners will run just the TSH unless you go to a functional medicine practitioner or one that kind of goes a little bit deeper. But most of when you get a TSH done, the TSH is a thyroid stimulating hormone. It doesn't tell you a whole lot, right? It's just one marker. Yes, it can be a little useful, but it's not as useful as some of the other tests. So I tell patients it's like judging the performance of the orchestra by just listening to one violin. That is not you know, a proper way of judging the whole team. So at Vista One, as we go a little bit beyond just the TSH, we do the T3, the T4, the TPO antibodies that can tell us a little bit more about how the thyroid is performing. And these deeper tests will tell us, you know, give us things like subclinical hypothyroidism. And that's when your thyroid is underperforming, but your lab test shows that you fall within a normal range. The test can also tell us a little bit more about Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and that is an autoimmune dis disorder. And that's where the thyroid produces these antibodies that the body looks at as foreign, and so the body starts to attack the thyroid. Sometimes this test will also give us an idea of how well you're converting your T3 to T4. So T4 is the inactive hormone that's produced by the thyroid, but the peripheral body, the, the yourself, have to take that T4 and convert it into T3 to make it useful. So sometimes I tell my patients, it's like having firewood, but not having the lighter to burn that firewood to produce the heat that you need to stay warm, right? So if you have T4, but you don't have T3, it's like having firewood, but not having a lighter. So T3 is kind of like the lighter that you use to burn that firewood and create the energy that you need. 
So just because your labs are normal does not mean that they are optimal. A lot of people have, uh, they tend to have symptoms of thyroid disorder even before the labs show that their levels are abnormal. Now, how do other hormones interfere with or interact with your thyroid hormone? Most often, people will just treat the thyroid thinking, okay, if I just treat this, the patient's going to get better. But the thyroid does not work alone. It works in conjunction with all of your other hormones like your estrogen, your testosterone, your cortisol, and hormones like that. So estrogen dominance in your body could interfere with uh, your thyroid receptor sensitivity. So we want to make sure that you don't have estrogen dominance that could be causing a thyroid problem. Cortisol imbalance. Cortisol is your stress hormone. If your cortisol level is high, it can suppress your TSH level and TSH is that thyroid stimulating hormone. So when it suppresses that, you're not getting the signal. And so you will see an underperforming thyroid because it's not getting the signal. So TSH is low, but the thyroid is underperforming, right? Testosterone may also play a very supportive role by helping your body convert T4 into T3 so you can, you know, stay stronger and feel energized and have a clear head, right? So the thyroid, again, doesn't just work by itself. It works in conjunction with all these other uh, hormones in our bodies. So that's why, again, treating the thyroid is not the answer. We have to evaluate the full hormone panel, get a better picture to formulate a plan that works for you. So now that you have this information, what do you do next, right? It is time to get a full panel of blood work. And we can handle that here in our office or put in an order for you to go to a lab near you. We can help with your symptoms and the lab results. We can help map out your symptoms and see how well we can come up with a plan that can help change, you know, the symptoms that you've been having. So Please do schedule your personalized consultation so we can connect your story to the data and come up with your treatment plan. And from here, once we build that treatment plan, we can start to give you that thyroid support that you need, be it medication, supplement, optimizing the rest of your hormones through hormone therapy, looking at your nutrition, stress, and just putting it all together for you. So. I want you to know that you are not crazy and you are not lazy and just know that you are not broken, right? You just need better answers to be able to help you. So if your lives are normal, but you don't feel normal, you deserve real answers. It is time for a change. So book your consultation to start your hormone uh, optimization today at Digital Wellness. You can call us at 904-800-4003. Visit us on the web at vistawellnessfl.com. And I would like for you to like this video, subscribe, comment, share with a friend who may need help and just doesn't know where to start. I'll see you in the next video.